What's going on, y'all? Happy Hump Day. So today we're going to talk about truck assignments. Since that was the question that was asked, so let's talk about it. So depending on the LTL company you go to, truck assignments are going to vary. Uh, let's start off with the P&D side. So if you do P&D, which is, you know, city driver, they might have it to where they assign you a particular truck or they might have you uh, just take whatever's on the yard. Now, some companies, they might have it to where there are certain trucks assigned for only P&D and then they might have uh, certain trucks only assigned to line haul or they might pair you with a line haul driver to where they know you guys won't conflict, meaning you, the P&D guy will never have to wait on the line haul driver and line haul will never have to wait on P&D. So some companies do it like that. You know, if they're smart, they'll do it like that. Okay, so let's talk about if you do line haul. So line haul, they might have it to where, like I said in the beginning, certain trucks are assigned to uh, only line haul. So let's just say trucks 50 through 100. Those are only for line haul. Um, so some companies, they also do it to where it's assigned to the run. So let's just say we're gonna use one, two, three, four, five as an example. So let's just say truck one, two, three, four, five is assigned from Tampa to Charlotte. Well, every uh, every night, truck one, two, three, four, five will go to Charlotte, regardless of um, regardless of when bids change. So let's just say Johnny's on the Charlotte, or let's just say Johnny's on the Tampa to Charlotte, and then bids come around, and then Tito uh, gets the Tampa to Charlotte. So regardless of who the driver is, truck one, two, three, four, five is always going to be assigned to that run. So you get the point. They do it to where the trucks are assigned to the run. Or uh, they might do it based on the type of bid run. So let's just say you have a laydown run where you're home, you know, every other night or you're out two days or however it's set up for your bid run. So in a case like that, you may not have to share a truck with the seat driver since you'll be laying down or in a case like that, they might have it to where instead of you taking your truck to the hotel, you might leave the truck at that terminal and they might have a city guy uh, use that truck, you know, while you're taking your 10 hours. Um, now, if you're an extra board driver, they might have it to where you can only take a tandem since um, extra board, you're going to be pulling pups and 53s. So more than likely, they might assign you, you know, a tandem axle truck now some companies they have it to where they have spare trucks you know they might have certain trucks uh, only for pnd so let's just say you're a pnd driver and your tractor needs a pm or it just broke down well they might have certain trucks spare trucks aside for pnd and vice versa for line haul now sometimes uh you will have to do a swap so let's just say you use a single axle truck and let's just say you do a meet and turn every night, but let's just say one night your meat guy, he brings you a heavy 53 of like 42,000 pounds. So in an instance like that, when you get to your meet point, you will uh, swap tractors. And then the following night when you guys do your meet and turn, you'll swap off again. So you'll take his truck that night. And then the following night, he'll give yours back and then you'll go back with your truck. Um and then if I don't already say some companies, you know, they just do it to where you just take whatever is available out on the yard. Now, the company I work at and the terminal I run out of, I can only speak for my terminal because I know it varies for each terminal. We have it set to where we can pretty much take whatever we want since um, we have a good number of line haul drivers, but we have more city drivers than we have line haul. So needless to say, there's a lot of trucks left on the yard. So. If my truck for whatever is down, you know, it won't be an issue finding another tractor. You know, no, we have two guys, you know, including myself that don't share a truck. I used to share a truck, but um, right now I'm not, nobody's using it. So I, I'm only assigned to it. And then our top guy in Seattle, he doesn't have to share a truck because his cut time is so early in the morning that um, by the time P&D gets in, um, he wouldn't be back before PND comes in and vice versa. So with us, you know, we can't use his truck because like I said, he has an early cut time. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna just vary based on the company. Um, 
but let me go ahead and just kill your dreams. Um, most likely you will have to slip seat with a uh, PND driver. And hopefully, you know, if you share it with a PND driver or a line haul driver, hopefully, you know, the person you slip seat with keeps the truck clean. And, you know, hopefully you, uh, you have your wipes and, you know, you're taking your precautions. So that's the video today. As I always tell y'all, thank you to all my day one subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Appreciate all of you guys. And as I always tell y'all, y'all take it easy. Stay safe.